24,000 and climbing, still counting. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closing above another historic mark yesterday. First time ever above Dow 24,000. But the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ were also near record highs. Joining us now to talk more about it is Nicholas Wealth Management President, David Nicholas. David, good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Maria, thanks so much for having me. Well, I, yeah, I'll tell you, I'm as excited as most investors are for the amazing year that we've seen in the market so far for 2017. But look, uh, you know, as great as 2017 is, we, at our firm, we have a participate but protect mindset. And, you know, investment management is more about managing risks to an investment portfolio than solely focusing on returns. And look, 2017 has been a fantastic year. But it's not about what we make in any one year. It's what we keep over time. And I think for 2017, volatility, really the lack of volatility has been the story here. And you know, a lot of that's been this, this confidence that the Trump administration has, I think, boosted to the U.S. economy. So you know, the question I think, Maria, that many of your viewers might be asking is, how long can this rally really last in the market? Right. So what do you think? You know, I think it can. Uh, you know, how refreshing is it to have a president that actually believes in the U.S. economy, uh, that doesn't buy this narrative that the U.S. economy is limited to a 2% uh, GDP growth over the next 10 years? That's so, true. you know, absolutely, I think it can rally. And look, that tax reform, w which we need to get done, will be a, a stimulus. It will supercharge uh, the rally that we'll see in the markets. David, uh, it's Kevin Kelly here, and so I'm, I'm glad your last name is Nicholas because there tends to be a St. Nicholas rally that happens at the end of the year. So I think there, if there's a pullback that happens, this could be a great time to put money to work, especially to position for next year, because as you can see, financials can do very well. Tax reform will help them. The economy is getting stronger, even though the Fed's ra raising rates that helps their net interest margin. Are you looking at certain sectors for clients posi to position themselves, especially for a Santa Claus? rally? Absolutely. So you mentioned financials. If you look at just the forward PE right now for financials, the trading around 14, uh, so at a discount to the market. So I think financials will bode really well uh, with, with tax reform, but really interest rate rises. If, we're, if we expect interest rates to rise, you know, we should see four rate rises over the, uh, by the end of 2018. That bodes well for financials, right? Companies like Bank of America, uh, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. Uh, I also like the insurance play right now. You know, insurance companies have been squeezed in this low rate environment and as rates rise, uh, you should see those yields on the bond portfolios be a positive effect for insurers like Allstate, Aflac. Uh, but also if you want to look at the tax reform play, I think you got to look at small caps. Uh, small caps, in my opinion, are going to be some of the biggest beneficiaries to tax reform. So we're you know, looking at our clients where we want to overweight financials, overweight small caps, and I think that'll be a very successful year for a portfolio if you can look at those two sectors. David, you know, I think the markets have fully baked in the idea of tax reform happening here. I don't think there's any question for markets, but there's a, there's a real scenario, especially given what we saw last night, that this does not happen this year and it does not happen next year. If that's the case, how much do markets react to that? Is it a big reaction? Does it change the trajectory for 2018? Yeah, I'll tell you, it is crazy to me that we're this late in the game and we're considering that tax reform might not happen. But you're right, it's a very real possibility, and that's where we have to look at these risks for portfolios and something that we look at all the time. What is the risk? Look, if you look at the market rally since Trump's been elected, markets are up well over 20%. You know, I hate to say this, but if we don't get tax reform done, so I hope you're, you're listening, our wonderful elected officials, if we don't get tax reform done, I, you know, we will definitely see a 10% correction, no question. Yeah. You know, we could see even a 15 to 18% correction if tax reform fails. It's just because of the, the rise up that we've seen in the market since, since Trump's been elected. Well, David, let's introduce this. What if tax reform does happen, but the Senate goes in and here is one possible outcome that they factor in tax hikes a stair step up in the corporate rate in later years to come up with revenue that's on the table and I want to point out to the income poops in the Senate that it doesn't make any sense that a company would take a deduction against an investment they invest when the deduction is worth 20 percent and then end up having to pay tax on it at say 35 percent or even higher in years out that doesn't work and it makes no sense and is not an incentive to investment and hiring. Well, this is the same group, though, that said, oh, let's delay the corporate tax cut. 
And they wanted well, to simplify it. Idea also. Right. Uh, by the way, I want to point also just note, Steve Dane, senator from Montana, is a yes is a yes on the uh, on the Senate bill. He mm. just came out this morning. So could they move yes. forward That's without great. Bob Corker? It's Corker, Flake, and Johnson. So it's three of them. You can't lose all three of those no. yep. so-called yeah. deficit hawks. The, the president is tweeting this morning. Before you answer that question, let me just get this tweet out. Republican senators are working hard to pass the biggest tax cuts in, in the history of our country. The bill is getting better and better. This is a once-in-a-generation chance. Obstructionist Dems trying to block because they think it is too good and will not be given the credit. So, Dagan, you're saying what? What is the option on the table at this point as far as your question with regard to the impact on stocks? So, I, if I'm looking at this, and if they end up working, actually writing into the tax bill, tax hikes down the road, where the tax cut on cor corporations starts at 20%, but then rises in stair-step increments in later years to to basically less, lessen the impact on the deficit, that that would be a disaster. It lessens that the would impact be, of the bill. Uh, right. It, yeah. it, and and, and I, I question whether in big co companies or even smaller ones would step up and really make the kind of investments and hiring decisions that you need today. Right. Because they're looking at tax increases in the future. 20% deduction on investment today, I wind up paying, what, 30% in taxes or a much higher rate down the road. That That's not how businesses make decisions. Two steps forward, one step yeah. back, David. How do the markets react in that scenario? Yeah, the, Dagan, that's a great point. You know, that's a disincentive for growth uh, here in the economy. And have we forgotten what causes economic growth? Not only economic growth, but what raises revenues? Look, lowering taxes on the job creators and entrepreneurs, that's actually how we raise revenues. I, I don't know which party uh, the Republicans are that are promoting a increase, uh, escalated increase to corporate taxes, but look, Reagan lower taxes. We saw increase in, in revenues, increase in, in revenues for the U.S. government. JFK uh, lower taxes, and we saw those, those increases. So, yeah, look, we, we've got to get tax reform done. It's a huge catalyst yeah. to market. Just from an earnings per share, I think we would see a 10% additional earnings per share if we get tax reform done. And Marie, I'll tell you, I think the markets will hit S&P 3,000 by the end of 2018 if we get tax reform done. So Wait, 10 we get it done. you said 10% move in earnings for the S&P 500 in 2018 with tax a, a, reform. Additional. A, yeah. additional added to earnings with tax reform hmm. done. This is big. Yeah, is no, big. it definitely is big. All right, thank you so much, David. Thanks for weighing in this morning. We appreciate it. David Absolutely. Nicholas there. Uh, we had a very good week this week on, on Mornings with Maria. So much happening. Take a look at the uh, week's moments from the program.